Hi, this is Debbie Kirk. Introduction to using PowerPoint version 2010. Uh, let's first look at the file types that PowerPoint has. If I click over on File and Save As, you'll notice that the default file type is a .pptx. Now, what's interesting about this file type is that if you save it and actually change the extension to a .zip file, then it is actually a zip folder and then if you open it you'll see all the individual components that make up your file such as the pictures and the music and stuff. Uh, if I drop this down uh, some other file types that you have one is for older versions of PowerPoint was a .ppt file. I don't recommend using that unless you're trying to save it for someone who only can use an old version of PowerPoint. Um, you can also save it as a uh, PowerPoint show file and the only difference with this is when you open it it goes straight into the full screen presentation. Uh, you can also save it as a PDF file, as a movie and so forth. On the left side is our slide sorter. List all, uh, shows all the different slides in your presentation. If you want to add a new slide you can just right click here and add a new slide. Now when you add a new slide, it uh, by default, it automatically gives me a couple of text boxes. Anytime you want to add text, it needs to go into a text box. Now if you click on the edge of a text box, you can move the box around. Or you can resize the box up here. If you add, need to add another text box, then you'd go to the Insert menu option and then add the text box here. So here I'm going to add my title. Let's just call it the story of my life. Now most of the formatting uh, for the text will be under the home menu. Under the home menu we can change the font, we can change the font size and so forth and the colors. Uh, but for text you've also got these other options. Now with uh, text box selected you can click up here under the format option and here we've got a lot of different uh, styles that we can use. So you can select one of these styles that you think looks good for your text in your... Um, actually I need to select the text to select one of the text styles here. Um, and here's my other text box. Let's just put uh, by David Kirk and on this one I'll select some different styles. I need to select the text, select a different style, uh, go back to the home, make it bigger, resize the text box. Okay now for the background of our slide, uh, if you want to change that just right click in a blank place on the background and then select Format Background. Uh, you can do a solid fill, you can do a picture. Uh, a picture. Uh, be careful using a picture, sometimes it's hard to see the text on top of a picture. This text would be okay since it has, the text has its own background. Uh, I'm going to do the gradient fill here. Under gradient fill you've got some presets for your gradient. So I'll select one of these and I could also apply this to all the slides if I wanted to. Okay now for adding a picture um, you can just copy and paste a picture. So I'm going to open up my Windows Explorer. Here's a picture. I can right click on it and copy it and then right click on my slide and paste it. And the picture, you can resize it at the corners. Move my text box down, and there we go. Okay, now for uh, next thing let's look at is the slide transitions. If you click up here, uh, slide transitions um, up here, you see by default the PowerPoint will only advance to the next slide when you do the mouse click. Um, 
I definitely recommend that if you're giving your presentation in front of an audience because you don't want the slide to advance to the next slide automatically because you might be talking about the first slide and then it, before you finish it will advance to the next slide. So I would leave that on mouse click. Uh, alternatively, if you're doing a PowerPoint presentation that you want to play like a movie and automatically advance the slides, you can do this after a certain number of seconds. Now you've got some different options for your transition. You can do some fancy stuff in here. Some of the new ones for PowerPoint 2010 are really nice uh, here under the exciting, such as the, um, such as the honeycomb effect, uh, which is pretty neat. So anyway, you can play with those. To preview your slideshow full screen, you can either click this little bitty button down here, or what I like, you, or you can go to slideshow and select the option there. Uh, what I like is the F5 key. That's the hot key to start, begin your slideshow. 